Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. All right, here we go. Lots of unanswered questions so far, but uh, we are through the gates. In our last episode, we saved the people at the gates, killed the corruptor, and uh, they opened them up for us. So now we are free to go to Meridian. So that's what we're currently in route of doing. We've got 1,600 steps to go, which is quite a ways. But I'm sure it's not going to be a silent path. I'm sure there's going to be much in our way. Ooh, new hunting ground. Beginning hunting trial. Okay, so this is something that I was really, really, really wanting to do. And I've been seeing people talking about it, and I'm so glad it finally came up right here. So, uh, the Great Run hunting grounds. Looks like we can't start the trial yet until we're level 20. We, we might... We might be able to do at least one of the trials. So basically how it works out is that all of these trials are, they're basically tests and they're timed tests. And if you get the highest marks on all of them, I think there are like five different trials or something like that, then you get some of the best weapons in the game. You can't even buy these weapons anywhere else. Like you earn them through doing these trials. It doesn't cost you anything and you get some of the best weapons. So let's see. Uh, Let's see what's going on here. That's the merchant. We don't want him. We want this guy. Shouldn't use my weapons up here. It'd be cheating. What is that? Oh. What are these things, dude? All right, let's find out what the heck is going on. By the sun, are you Nora? I've never seen one at a hunting grounds before, or at the hunter's lodge. How interesting. What do you do here? This is a place to test yourself against a herd of machines in the stamina trials. Think you can handle it? I know I can. Excellent. I like your spirit. You're awfully friendly. <laughs> well, you know, it gets lonely in the wilds after a few weeks. Terribly lonely, in fact. What about your friend over there? Oh, he doesn't count. Barely ever opens his mouth, and when he does, nothing interesting comes out. So let's talk about these trials and see what what's going trials? on. The Hunter's Lodge makes sure hunting grounds around the world offer hunters a place to train. The trials here focus on the most important part of hunting, keeping your stamina up. Hunting isn't a sprint, it's a gauntlet. So all you offer is training? And a herd of machines. Plus, I'm allowed to award marks. Half sun, full sun, and blazing sun, if you do well. So you want to get blazing sun on all of them, and if you can do that, you can get special stuff, which is kind of cool. So which let's... one will you try? I'll explain whichever you pick. Let's see what we have here. Questions, pace trial, parts wrangling trial, tie down trial. I guess we'll start with the pace. Remains the first of one. watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. I mean, I guess Good. we'll go for it. Now slide down a rope to get started. Go, go, go. <laughs> this guy is just full of spunk. You guys ready for this? We've got to be quick about it. So uh, it looks like we have five areas to choose from. We need to get three of these watchers looted. I'm thinking this side because these two look right next to each other and then maybe try to grab the middle one before coming back here. I don't even know if we have to run all the way back here, but we're going to give this a go. Here we go, boys. Those birds definitely just saw us. It's all right. It's fine. We're going to be okay. Probably could have planned our, uh, our entry better, but... Go. Have the white ledges. White ledges. Oh no. We haven't even seen these birds before. All right, here we go. We're good. We're good. Get off and get that guy there. There's a bird up there as well. 
He's thinking about trying to shoot him, but I don't know if he has to. He's, he's going off. He's running off. He's going to be a nice one. He's going to help us out. Oh, we're getting frozen right now. All right. Trying to get back out of here. A little bit low on health. We're going to heal up. Let's get our good arrows out. guy off our bird thing. He's off, he's off, he's off. Grab it! Grab it! We got it! Oh! Help! Eat up, girl! Alright, we're supposed to get back here. Trial completed. Oh, it, it paused for us. We just have to get out of here alive. The time's not even going anymore. Get me the heck out of here! We're about to get stampeded. Where are we supposed to go? Up here? Are you serious? Come on, girl, you're right here. What's up, bro? Did I get it? You won a blazing sun yes. on your first attempt? Congratulations! All right. That's awesome. So we got 7,500 XP and a bonus box. All right, what's the parts rank for this trial, trial about? You'll need to be able to tie down a trampler and shoot off component. But you'll need the right weapon first. So I can't do that yet. This trial's about tying down glint hawks. But you need any type of rope caster and some ammo for that. So we can't do that either. I have to get going. So we need to find a rope caster you know somewhere. Where to find me. Ooh, can I buy something? <gasps> yes, sir. I'll take that. We're going to put it in the bottom slot. Looks good to me. So then we're going to need some rope, rope caster ammo, right? Ammo. Tie rope medium pack. Get a couple of those. All right, looks good to me. Um, I kind of want to buy some uh, precision arrows too. All right, so we're looking pretty good. We've got our a uh, rope caster here. Let's start up our next trial. Welcome. In this trial, you must tie down a trampler and shoot off the component under its belly. Are okay. you ready? Good. I'll start timing once you choose a rope. Now the problem is we've literally never used a rope caster before, so we'll uh, we'll see what's happening here. Tie rope light. Okay. So I'm assuming that that's a trampler. I mean, no time like the present. Let's just go for it. I just don't even know how to use this thing. That's the, the only issue. Got that, and then shoot the component off its back. So we gotta tie him down and then get around the side. In this trial, you must tie down a trampler and shoot off the component under its belly. Okay. Are you Doesn't ready? Doesn't sound too bad. Good. I'll start timing once you choose a rope. All right. So what are these big boys? We're gonna go down there and shoot off. I'm assuming it's that yellow, orange, red thing underneath. So. Uh, we'll see what happens here. We've literally never used a rope caster though, so I have no clue what to expect. Can we just shoot him with it? Okay. So now we probably... Oh my god. He 
still moves so much. Even while being tied down. He's about to explode again, I think. I can't... What the... Okay, maybe we need to... Maybe we need to hit him with more rogue casters next time. I think maybe if we hit him with like... Because you can hit him with... We hit him with two. We could probably hit him with multiple. And that might work better. Alright guys, so after trying and failing and numerous times, I finally looked it up and I know exactly what we need to do. But I don't know if we have a good enough rope caster to be able to do it. I'll just tell you guys what the objective is here. So, do you see when we gotcha. shoot him with the rope caster, that little rope icon above him that's filling up with blue right now? We need to get that all the way filled up. And then when that's full and outlines in white, that's when we shoot this thing. But the problem is... The problem is I don't think, uh... I don't think we have powerful enough weapons to be able to do it. So you guys see where we just blew it up right there? We were supposed to do that while it was down. But I just had an idea. What if we hit him... How many shots did that take? Four? What if we hit him three times and then tied him down and then hit him the fourth time to be able to take it off? That might not be a bad idea. That might work. But people that have done this, they have the stronger rope caster and the stronger bow. So, I mean, it totally makes sense. Because then they don't have to... They don't have to worry about it, really. Let me turn around. See, when he's not... When we don't have him tied down for a significant amount of time because we don't have a good rope caster. He's impossible to hit. Oh my gosh, dude. We need more powerful weapons. I just, I don't, I don't think it's going to work. That one's just going to be too hard for right now. Like, I think if we grinded it out, we might be able to get it. But I don't want to sit here and try tons and tons of times and get frustrated. So we're just going to come back after we've been in Meridian. We have a better rope caster and a better bow. But uh, for now, let's check out the third one, Now's which is the tie-down trial. Now's your chance to show you can snare Glinthawks. Lure them close to you, then tie them down in time to pass this test. Okay. Are you let's ready? Let's do it. Good. I'll start timing once you choose a rope. All right, so we want to get their attention, and then tie them down. I don't even, oh, I was going to say, I don't even see any. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and... Start shooting at him. Critical. Oh, critical strike. So we gotta tie him down and then critical strike him. There we go. I think you get him down by hitting their chest like that. Now we've gotta tie him down. Make sure we got plenty. Critical hit. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I was gonna loot it, but whatever. We don't need to. We need another bird. We're we still getting chased by these tramplers. Dude, what the heck? I can't see anything. Dude, I can't see anything from the bushes. Are you kidding me? Why did we hit his beak? Yes! Give me the critical hit option. Where's the critical hit option? Where's the option? Why can't I critical hit you? You're right here on the ground! It's not giving me the option! What the heck? I think we had it for one moment and I think we missed it. 
we were gonna have any more rope casters left anyway. So we would have used three rope casters and get there ASAP before any of them break because I guess if they're like a foot off the ground, this isn't gonna count. This one is oddly specific, but I think we're gonna be able to do it. Six and a half hours late. I'm not gonna lie, this one is insanely infuriating. It is so difficult. I've been trying at it for like 30 minutes now. I think we're getting close. There are a couple of a little strategies you can employ. So the first one, I just line this guy up because he's pretty easy to hit. So you get one right off the bat. And usually it takes three trip cast. If we had a better trip caster, dude, this would be infinitely easier. But working with this bummy trip caster, you gotta get three of them in it, which is kind of crazy. So we're gonna kill him like that, and then we're gonna hop up here. So the little bulls can't get us. Ah, we hit his beak! That's the problem with these things. The beaks get in the way and they totally mess everything up. Alright, critical hit time. We've got one minute to get the last one, so let's just play, play our game here, Trev. Yes! Dude, if you mess this up for me right now... Critical hit. Bring him down to the ground. Critical hit, come on. Where's my critical hit? Yes! We got it! We got it! We gotta get back to camp, though. Oh my gosh! Minute 29. Holy cow. We aren't back back in safety yet, though. These guys are still coming after us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Congratulations. You can do no better. This blazing sun is yours. I'm not gonna lie, that makes me want to take down this third one. I think I'm gonna try it. Dude, I just realized how easy this is gonna be. We weren't even using one of our main abilities that we've unlocked so far. So you guys remember, it was taking four precision arrows to take these guys out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot two at a time. It only makes sense. So we're gonna do a batch of two at the belly. We're gonna hit him with five of these. Bring you down. Three. Five. We're gonna put one in there. Hold up. Got him. That's one out of two. Alright, add another one in here. Let's choose our target. Got him. This one's by the rock, too. To help us out. Two shots on that belly. There it is. All right. Blazing suns at one ground. Now we want to. We want to stay alive here. Oh my god, we almost died. We need to get back up top to claim our uh, claim our medal here. But we got it. So this is the first training grounds, I guess. I guess there are multiple training grounds that you can go to, but uh, we just completed the first one, and I think that should give us a medal or, or some sort of a reward. We'll find out. Oh my gosh! Perfection. Only this blazing sun will suffice. You have three half suns. You can go to the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian now. Keep me company. Your <laughs> choice. This guy's weird. All right, I'm gonna get the heck out of here then. So, till the next hunt. You guys notice how he said you have three half suns now? 
Well, you get you get a bonus for half suns, you get a bonus for, for the full suns, and then you get a bonus for the blazing suns. And since we have three blazing suns, I think we get all three bonuses. We got an addition to max health, we got skill points, we got all kinds of stuff. Okay, so we want to continue on a Meridian, dude. This was a, uh... This was quite the sidetrack, but uh, we got her done. We did what we had to do. I'm happy with how things turned out. And now it's time to continue on our journey.